Hey guys. Well, after driving all night, we have finally made it to Red Lake. Camp's just up ahead here. And uh, we're up here for a bear hunt. I'm kind of excited for that. Hopefully, uh, well, I talked to him the other day. He's got 13 baits running. All of them have been being hit. So, should be an exciting hunt. Well, let's see if this one's hit, and uh, I better pull this one up a little bit. I don't want the boat floating away. Yeah. You got the meat and the grease and the bread, and I think we're uh, ready to get this one baited. What we're going to do, I'm just going to dump a little bread right in here. And then we're going to soak that. It's a little bit of fryer oil. And then I'm going to cover that with these logs. First I want to get one that I can lay pretty much flat right on top of that bread. Kind of push it down a little bit. I'm going to take some of these larger logs. I'm going to roll these right on top. And what this does, it does two things. One, keeps the bear a little bit busy. And two, it keeps our squirrels and porcupines and whatever else is going to try to eat that bread out of our bait site. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bait sack right up here on this nail. And one of the things we do too, is we set this about seven feet up off the ground. When that bear comes in, when our hunter, or in this case us hopefully, this is one of the places we're looking at, comes in and if this bear can reach up and grab that with his mouth, I know we've got a good sized bear. And he's been hitting this pretty good, so. This, we're gonna check out a couple other sites for uh, putting some stands up, but then the only other thing left to do with this site just to shoot a little oil on this thing. Then we're also going to pour some back over our logs. And what this does, when that bear comes in, a lot of times she'll sit and just lick these logs and lick this tree. And with all this fryer oil in here, uh, definitely keeps him keeps him occupied so he's here for a while which gives you not only a good opportunity to film the bear and to really look at it and see if it's a bear you want to shoot but it also gives you the opportunity to calm your nerves down and be ready for the shot. Hey guys, Jeff Jorgensen here. I'm up in northwestern Ontario doing a little bear hunt. This site we're on has been hit the last three of the four nights and last night it got hit pretty hard. It looks like he's coming in from up over here, so it's four o'clock now. I'm hoping, I'm hoping he comes in while it's still light enough. So let's see what let's see what happens.
Boy, it was pretty exciting last night, wasn't it? Man, that bear came in so cool. And my cameraman, Nate, did a great job last night. We watched the footage and the shot looked pretty good. So I'm pretty confident this bear's gonna be laying right up here. And then I heard him up here. Blood right here. That blood right here. God, he went right up over this log. I got good blood right here on this log. There's our bear. I told you. I told you. I told you. <laughs> nice. High five, buddy. Yes. Oh, man. What a tracking this has been, let me tell you. This stuff is so thick, and when he bedded, we lost some of that blood, and, but he's dead right there. Let's go I'm not sure if this camera can see him, but. You will in a minute. You know, he could have died in a thicker area. I'm just not sure how. Well, folks, here's the end of my hunt. The reward for all of our hard work. You know, we, we worked, worked the baits, got those set up. And uh, last night we were in that stand and this, this bear came in. You know, and when I took the shot, I, I, I thought I might have been a little far back. So just like the old saying goes, when in doubt, back out. So that's exactly what we did. We went back to camp. We watched the video. And, it, and watching the video, it looked like a pretty good hit. So when we came in this morning, uh, we picked the blood trail up right away. And, and the bear probably went a little over 100 yards. Um, the this, this stuff in here is so thick that... Uh, you almost had to walk right on top of the bear to find it, and that's pretty much what happened. And uh, tell you what, I just couldn't be happier. What a beautiful coat, what a beautiful bear, what a beautiful hunt. I'm Jeff Jorgensen, and don't forget, get out and start your own outdoor tradition. Mm -hmm.